Hello, ho, ho. It's about this time of year I like to have a Christmas. And you know what? I'm gonna do it again this year. And that means we must look at crap that has been bought from the shops that is Christmas related. Do you see how that works? That was an intro. Right, first things first, here's something from Poundland to start us off. Because why the devil not? This is quite a clever thing in its way. You put a little tea light in it and it keeps your uh, beverage warm. Look. See, tea light goes in the bottom there, beverage goes in the top. Isn't that nice? Except, for some reason, somebody thought it would be a nice idea to put a burning candle in Santa's mouth. He doesn't look that pleased about it, I will be honest. There is a kind of shrieking in agony thing going on, and the eyes aren't great either. But do you know the real tragedy here? I haven't got any bloody tea lights. I had this big box full of them. I'm certain I did. I've had them years. Looked in the cupboard, not there anymore. No idea what happened to them. So instead... I've had to cut down a candle. You see, that's the kind of MacGyverism we've got going on on this channel. Let's have this in the background as a kind of pretty Christmas decoration. There we are, Santa. Eat this candle and allow it to burn your brain out because, well, frankly, you're probably pissed off of flying around giving everybody presents. Maybe this will be the sweet release of death that you've been searching for. Hmm, where's the blowtorch? Ah, oh, that'll do nicely. Right. Don't try this at home. Unless Santa has really, really pissed you off. Is that actually burning? Yes, it is. We're going to call that a success. There's a lot of frightening smoke coming out of it. Ah, oh, what a world. Well, at least he can't say ho, ho, ho. That's shoved in his gob. Anyway, enough of this traditionalism. We want branded goods. And also crackers, because it's Christmas, so why the devil not, eh? Well... Star Wars is big at the moment, isn't it? And by at the moment, I mean pretty much constantly since 1977. So we've got this uh, Poundland Christmas cracker from the mighty Star Wars there. Cracker contains stickers, party hat, and trivia question. Amazing. So this was a pound for one bloody cracker. I was expecting something quite amazing from it as a result, but I've just read it contains stickers, a party hat, and a trivia question. Surely there should be at least like a crappy... I don't know, Kylo Ren key ring or something. My god, Christmas ruined already. You alright there, Santa? What? Your brain's on fire? Excellent. Right, go on then, let's get this out of the way. Bloody hell, what a disappointment. Disappointment before I've even bloody opened it. Right, here's, here's a free bit of cardboard. Looks a bit like a TIE fighter. Or, or look, it's Kylo Ren's shuttle. That's more fun than going to have out this cracker, isn't it? May the f Merry Force be with you. See, Merry Force be with... <laughs> Let's try and get something positive out of this. Rogue One was good, wasn't it? Right. Um, well, the snap worked. And inside we have... Yep. How, I mean, you can... How can you charge a pound just for this? The hat is black. Okay, that's got a bit of a Darth Vader Sith vibe going on. That's something. Where can the cantina bar be found? Answer, Moss Eisley. Yep, that's that's the better than a cracker joke, I suppose. I'll give you that. And some really crap stickers. They're on... Uh, oh, yeah, they rip easily. And they're on very rough paper. You've got Chewy. Look at his sexy Chewy looking over his shoulder there. <laughs> hey, boys. There's BB-8 Astromech Droid. The First Order Rule the Galaxy and Kylo Ren's weird duck face, and X-Wing fighter. Great. That was a pound. A bloody pound. You... Ugh, God, dear me. Although if you do want something from Poundland that's good, actually, for one pound and is Star Wars related, you can get this two-pack of baubles, which you can put on your tree, and it's got, you know, Luke and Leia and the word Star Wars on it and stuff. And I've got to say... These are actually pretty good. I mean, going back like 10 years, you'd have had to pay a fortune for something like this from a specialist catalogue. And now you can go in Poundland and buy two for a pound. And they'll look good on your tree and probably really piss off your girlfriend because you've replaced her favourite glass baubles with a plastic thing from Poundland with Alec Guinness on. But hey, that's going to happen later in the week. Now, time for some real beauty. A little bit of uh, international beauty, in fact. I was recently in the uh, Barcelona Christmas markets and I brought back something which I think 
is probably the greatest Christmas ornament ever made. In fact, it may be the greatest ornament ever made full stop for any time of year. I present to you... Yes, it is a statue of Link having a shit. So, you probably want some kind of explanation. <laughs> hang on, hang on, listen. There we are, that was the channel hitting rock bottom. No, seriously, this is not something I've had custom made by a lunatic. So, in order to explain this, we need to know a, a little tradition from uh, Catalonia, which is an area of Spain in the northeast. This is a, well, a modern take on a traditional figure called the uh, Caganeer, which sort of translates to crapper. Here is a more traditional version. He's uh, dressed as a classic Catalan farmer, wearing the uh, sort of uh, tan vest and the red hat thing they had going on. And yep, he also is doing a poo. So... <laughs> Honestly, this is Christmas related. I'm not making this up. Right, so the story is that uh, in Catalonia they have this kind of tradition where when they have an advent set with, you know, the um, baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph and the three wise men and all that, they add the extra figure of the Caganer who basically goes and has a shit out the back of the um, stable. <laughs> And it's considered, um, yeah, good luck and stuff like that. And uh, it's, it's to do with, uh, you see, the farmer is, uh, how can you put it politely, um, fertilising the field. And it's supposed to bring a good harvest and good luck and all that kind of thing. So this is the traditional version of it. You'll notice I bought a very small one because they're actually quite expensive. Um, and the, this was uh, like four euro and I spent like 12 for the others. And I didn't really want a massive version of this. Not when I've got one based on Nintendo's favourite character. <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah. Um, basically, as time has gone on, uh, they have produced uh, these statues for various different public figures. It was originally considered uh, to be something of an honour to have a figure made in your image, having a shit. <laughs> but um, as time has gone on, I'm not entirely sure it's considered quite that honourable anymore, at least not in other parts of the world. But they've even branched out into fictional characters, and indeed, here is Link. Um, yeah. His hair's gold. That's, that's interesting, isn't it? Nothing else to see here, obviously. And if you think this one's weird... They've even jumped on the Minecraft bandwagon, and you've got Steve. I feel like they missed a trick here in two ways. One, uh, they didn't draw a crack in his arse, so it's all a bit weird. And two, surely the pile of shit should be sort of cubicle. You see, that would have made more sense. I mean, cube-shaped. Cubicle is uh, where you go to work. And come up with designs like this, apparently. Also, notice the crack where this got damaged in my suitcase on the way back. But don't worry, super glue fixed everything. Yep, there we are. That's uh, Minecraft Steve having a shit. I imagine uh, people who run Minecraft gaming channels for years and years feel like this bit of grey floor at the moment. But there we go. Why is his beard a different colour to the rest of his hair? That is confusing. Do you want to have a picture of just how many of these bloody things are made? Have a look at this, then. You've got all the obvious ones there, like politicians and stuff, and various different um, jobs. And also, yeah, various uh, pop culture icons, shall we say. So there we are. If you, if you want to buy one of these, you can apparently order them online. Fantastically. <laughs> just go off there and, yeah, just basically regret you were ever born. If you're wondering what they're made out of, it's kind of a slightly terracotta -y sort of pottery thing, and they're all sort of hand-painted slightly roughly. Slink having a shit, everyone. Jesus Christ, on a tricycle. Right, <clears throat> let's try and uh, clean this image from our minds. Ah, <laughs> oh, And have a look at some lovely colouring books from Christmas. Big, big thank yous go out here to... Um... You know, I just had a thought. Do you think when Link has a shit, he farts out Saria's song? So... <laughs> that 
that sounds like something I should try and auto-tune, but on the other hand, I really don't think I need that in my life. So yes, massive thanks to Nathan on Twitter for spotting this at the very last minute, because I had never thought to actually look at a jumbo Christmas colouring book from Poundland. Page after page of imaginative Christmas fun. Well, it's not that imaginative, you've just got some bleeding snowmen and kids on it, haven't you? But yep, yeah, there's a lot of pages. Page-tastic. And you open it up and it's all what you would sort of expect, really. Let's zoom out a bit. Whoop. There we are. There's some elves. They're having a bit of a sing-song. There's a puppy in a big sock. You know, what more do you want at Christmas? There's some more stuff in a big sock. There's some kids and they like, going on this. I was going to say they're going on their sleds, but I'm skiing, actually. Is that the dad from Alvin and the Chipmunks? Dave, whatever his name was. No idea. And look at the back, and yeah, it's all similar stuff. There's somebody throwing a snowball, and Father Christmas in a big car looking a bit weird, blah blah blah. But the interesting thing is, there's various different art styles, and one of them appears to be from the sort of love child of Hieronymus Bosch and Salvador Dali, who spent most of his life on meth. And I think they start around... Yeah, do they? Where are we? Let's find a real beauty for you. Yeah, they're starting to get a bit weird and things here. There's, uh, this is a good one. So, yeah, apparently at Christmas time now you have a giraffe with an incredibly cricked neck sort of eating the floor. It looks like he's actually dragging the entire ground up into its mouth while this uh, large hatted bird looks on in horror. So that's a bit of a strange start. You've got, uh, Oh, well, a sort of jolly creature here, slapping a bird. Always nice. Then I... yeah. See, the problem here is that I could literally draw better than this myself. I'm, I'm guessing that's a sheep? A sort of sheep with an Elvis quiff? And a really badly drawn thing with giant shoes and, like, a, a hat wearing flower? I, I'm not, not really understanding what's going on now. There's a cow, a sort of bearded cow, with a leering elf over the top. The cow looks like it's made out of um, a sack full of shit, frankly. And there's some sort of ghost of a mouse coming up out of a bag that, that's spewing water. Is it peeing on a fire? What? What is going on? I remember these being slightly less weird than this when I was looking earlier. Right, you've got... <laughs> Well, he's wearing his flood pants, everything's coming up Millhouse. Ah, now we're, now we're really talking. What the blithering smeg is that supposed to be? Somebody's got, like, a sh mutant sheep with with a melting face, with... You've got glasses on it that's not fitting. The, I don't know what's going on with the legs there. What the... Cr I mean, this duck has had its face smashed in, presumably with this giant burning kebab. I... Wow. <clears throat> It's the Merry Christmas Cactus, everybody! Yay! Here with a, a scarecrow with MC Hammer pants? <laughs> Near a camel? Merry Christmas! Oh, for... Right, that, this, now this, this really is some bloody Garden of Earthly Delight stuff going on here. Right. You've got... <laughs> you've got a balloon with a face on it <laughs> being sat on by some sort of gnome weirdo with giant shoes Next to a rat with a melting face. What? <sighs> so this is Christmas, and what have you done? You've melted a rodent you really shouldn't have done. Right, um, yeah, oh, for God's sake, look at that. <laughs> Somebody with a giant head is being kissed by a badly drawn mouse whilst again... What is this thing about giant boots? That seems to be the, uh... I was going to say that seems to be the motif. I'm not bloody kidding. Look, there's an elephant wearing them now, and a sort of screeching child elf on the back of it, and there's a mouse, because mice? I don't know. Um, oh my god almighty. Right, for starters, that's the bloody Easter Bunny. Secondly, what? What? Oh man. There's something genuinely unsettling about that. Although, if you want genuinely unsettling, the rabbit on this page appears to have its head coming off, and look at its hand or paw or whatever. What the bloody hell has happened there? A bad accident with fire is the answer to that. There does seem to be fire in all these pictures in some manner, or it's just really badly drawn grass or something. I think the uh, artist was hoping all these things would burn. Well, that uh, bit looks vaguely normal. Let's just try and focus on that for a second, shall we? Uh, 
bridge to Terabrithia going on there. Um, Giant-headed ostrich being ridden by what I can only presume is elf with giant shoes, because let's face it, there's been in every frickin' picture. And it's walking over a, a bit... A, 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 there we are. That's my new channel mascot, I've decided. His name is Lucky Jim, and he's lucky because he'll be dead shortly and he won't have to look at himself in the mirror again. Again, what is it with the giant pissing boots? Christmas is not about giant boots and skates, guys. Oh my... Oh, right. So... It's like a sabre... a tiger? I was going to say sabre tooth, but I don't think it's... I think it's, it's eating a giant bow tie, which, you know, is very Christmassy. Tiger eating a bow tie must be Christmas. There's some corn dogs on long sticks and some sort of weird warbling thing with its, um, giving itself a paper cut with a blade of grass. I was going to say this one looks more normal than most, if you discount the fact that he appears to have snapped his neck by attempting to turn his head 180 degrees. Then I noticed the giant frickin' boots! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Right. So, Santa's is in his space rocket with a propeller on the front, either that or the world's most badly designed aircraft because it has no wings, and he looks a bit surprised because a man with giant boots, predictably, has fallen out with a tiny egg-shaped parachute. That's not perspective, by the way, that is actually how it looks. Bloody hell. Oh, he's kissing a camel, that's made everything better. Marvellous. Well done, everybody. Um, I, I don't know what he's doing to the inflatable sheep there. Isn't that one of those things that uh, Anakin Skywalker pissed around on in um, Attack of the Club? I've just noticed his bindle, or whatever it is, has a face on it. I... Well, at least we couldn't see his giant boots. Oh, and we've gone back to some slightly more normal pictures. No, we haven't. <laughs> Here's Santa with a living sack with Nemo that frankly you shouldn't have bothered bloody finding, as a topless Santa jumps into a water hole? Is that a, is that a vagina? What's going on? Right, that's enough of that. Well, that's Christmas ruined for everybody. I was going to say maybe I could put this in there and set it on fire, but Santa appears to have actually gone out some time ago. Well, there's only one thing left to say. Merry bloody Christmas!